everybody. It is, gosh, Wednesday already. August 21st. Can you believe August is almost over with already? Which is fine with me because uh, it's time for football season. Um, anyway, I'm on my way over to the Women's Health Center to get my boobies smashed. <laughs> Time for my mammogram. I haven't had a mammogram in years, and I mean, we're talking years. I don't remember how long ago it was. That's how long it's been. Of course, they give you all this list of things like, you know, you're not supposed to put deodorant on today. And of course, you know, it's like 100 degrees in the shade here. So, I was going to bring it with me <laughs> to put on afterwards, and I forgot. Darn it. Well, anyway, uh, that's what I'm doing today. I'm on my way over to get my uh, mammogram done and my bone scan done. So I did make it up for all of you that watched me yesterday. I did manage to get up at 6.30 this morning. So I've already put in half a day. It was really weird being up that early too. I mean, I was out of the shower by 7.15. And it was just kind of weird uh, being up at that time in the morning. I haven't been up that early in a long, long time. So I ate my breakfast, you know, before 9 o'clock. And then I had a little, after, a little later morning snack, which I still considered my breakfast. So Head northeast. In a half mile, keep left at the fork. Follow signs for I-75 North, Toledo. And I just missed where I'm supposed to get up. I, you know, I lived here all my life. And I always miss this exit to get on to the road I wanted to get on to. Keep left at the fork. So, darn it. Well, I left early, so if I... Continue on I-75 North for four miles. I can, uh, I can fix this, though. Luckily, I know where, I'm, where I am, and I know the way around missing my turn, although that would have been quicker. Oh, well. The lady that lives below me is getting new carpet installed in her house today, so they've been banging, you know, ripping up carpet, laying new carpet since about 9.30 this morning. My dog is not happy. So, I've had eight points today. Uh, if I remember my calorie count correctly, I've had around 450 calories. It is after 1 o'clock today, so I will eat lunch when I get back home. I was supposed to go out for dinner tonight with some friends. Um, the dinner plan sort of got changed to a different restaurant. And I decided, and it's more expensive than the place we were originally going to go. I decided that I... Um, I might stop in just to say hello, but I'm going to eat dinner before I do that. I don't want to spend the money, and I don't want to spend the calories or the sodium retention. Uh, because my weigh-in day is tomorrow. So, in my weigh-in... Head east toward Buck Road. Kind of all Use the left lane to turn right onto Buck Road. Oh, I'm not going that way. They're kind of already kaflooey because... Uh, of my sleep schedule change. You know, that affects your weigh-ins too. In 600 feet, turn left onto 1017. So, my GPS thinks I'm one place and I'm not. Turn left onto 1017, Glenwood Road. Yeah, I don't know why you want me to turn left on Glenwood Road. I'm turning right. So, I got a call today from the district that I'm going to continue on 1017 for one and a half mile. Head south on 110 Glenwood Road. Continue on Glenwood Road for one and a half miles. Okay. Now she can shut up. Um, I I got a call from the district where I'm going to be subbing at. Today I was hoping I was not going to have to get my fingerprints done again, but I do. The reason, I mean, I don't have a problem getting my, my
my fingerprints done. They do a, an FBI and BCI check for all the teachers. And it's, you know, I got it done two years ago. And the fingerprints are usually good for five years. But because I didn't sub in the district at all last year, they are requiring me to get a new set of fingerprints done. So that's another 60 bucks I didn't want to have to spend. But, oh wow. My life is uh, pretty stress-free compared to others. Uh, those of you that follow Lainey's life, uh, her and her family are going through some tough times right now. Her husband's in the, um, under some medical treatment and talked to her a little while ago. Things are not real good right now, so I'm thinking about doing... In a quarter mile, so. turn left onto Ohio 795 East. I'm going to think about it during the day and Later tonight when I upload my video, I'll let you know what I've come up with. So, but I, I know that their situation is not good right now, so please keep them in your prayers. Turn left onto Ohio 795 East. And uh, I'm going to talk with Lainey again later today, so uh, I'll give you an update. She probably is not going to be on her channel for a while. She's kind of stressed out right now. So, and I understand exactly what she's going through. But anyway, I'll, I will update you later. And, and uh, I there's, you know, I have something in the back of my mind that we can do as a community for this family. So, um, let me think on it and then I'll give you my suggestion later. So. Continue on Ohio 795 East for five miles. Yes, ma'am. I kind of know where I am right now. I really need my GPS for after I get over into the next town. I know where the hospital is, where this place is. I'm just not quite sure where to go once I get there. So, um, I got another quilt block done today. So in my third row, now I've got two blocks done. I've got one more. I'll get the, I'll get my, I mean the second row. My second row, I'll get that done today. And then there's only one more row of the big blocks and then I have to put on my binding. So, and the binding strips. So I'm getting there. I think by the middle of next week, I'll have this quilt done if I, I have to uh, measure to see how much batting I need and how much of a backing fabric I need. I may have it, but I may not. But this has been a treat, being at my sewing machine again. You have no idea. I mean, my sewing machine uh, was out in Idaho with me, but I really didn't have a place to set it up, so I didn't sew much. I did one embroidery project while I was out there. And then after I got back here, um, in the beginning of June, it was in the storage unit until I moved. And um, so I got things cleared up back in my craft room then so I could set it up and start sewing. It's just been such a pleasure to sit down at that machine and relax and create something again. Something that I'm gonna enjoy, you know. And I love all the fall colors. Thank you for all your really kind comments. You know, if you look closely, you can see all the mistakes I made in that quilt. But, so don't look closely because <laughs> I'm not fixing it um, and it's just for me anyway it's not like something I'm going to give away but like I said this is my first big quilting project and I'm going to try to quilt it myself I've decided because I've got some embroidery designs that are you know kind of squirrely squirrely pumpkin-y things since it's a fall quilt that uh it will take me a while to do, but I got nothing else to do. So, anyway, uh, I gotta watch where I'm going now because I'm running over into this next town. I'll be back later. I'll show you what I've had to eat today. As I record this, it's only breakfast. I guess I better watch my speed on this road. So, um, not sure exactly what I'm gonna have for lunch. I need to stop at the grocery store and pick up a couple things today. So
so I might just pick up something for lunch. I might even pick up a Jimmy John's lettuce wrap. I haven't had one of those in a while. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. I have some tuna fish at home. I could eat that. So, okay, I will talk to you guys later. Wednesday morning I'm switching my breakfast up a little bit I'm have a half a cup of oatmeal for four points is the way uh, my brand track for the half a cup dry I have um, a half a cup of almond milk with that and uh, right now I have one cup of coffee but I'll have another cup of coffee there'll be two points in, in my coffee my almond milk is zero points the blueberries half a cup that I put in my oatmeal is zero points Four points for the oatmeal, so six points for breakfast altogether. Well, okay, I'm about ready to wrap it up for the day. Um, I didn't get back in my craft room tonight. I tell you, I'm tired, especially since I got up so early this morning. I did want to tell you, though, um, I only recorded my breakfast. Uh, when I got around to eating my lunch, I was just fixing my plate, and my son came in, so I wasn't able to record what I ate but I will tell you what I had I made myself a little quesadilla with uh, two white corn tortilla tortillas and then I put two slices of Velveeta cheese the 35 calorie Velveeta cheese on that and I just nuked it in the microwave um, so the tortillas were three points and the two slices of cheese were three points and I had a slice of cheese before that as a snack so I had six points for lunch, and um, then I had that extra Velveeta slice for a snack. Um, I ended up going to dinner, and since I <laughs> didn't get a chance to cook my dinner, I decided to eat at the restaurant. So I had looked at the menu. I'm trying to get out of the bad shadow here. I looked at the menu for the restaurant before I went. I didn't even open up the menu when I got there because I knew if I started looking at all those other things, I was going to want it. So what I decided to get was I got their house salad, which uh, I requested no croutons on that, um, a house salad, and all it was was vegetables, so that was zero points, and I got a grilled chicken breast with that, and I asked them to make, ask the chef to please not grill it with any type of grease at all and it didn't it was dry as bone so I mean the meat inside was good but but it was on the outside it was it was dry it, there was no grease on that thing so it was a zero point chicken breast I had a zero point dinner and no I didn't because it did come with a little with a, a small breadstick that had a little cheese on top of it now I don't really know how to count that I found like I'm counting it like the Panera breadstick or, or, or one breadstick that I found. I'm counting it as six points because it was a pretty good, it was pretty thick, you know. It was light, but it was thick. Just to be safe, I'm counting it as six points. So for breakfast this morning, I had eight points and 429 calories, 429.9 calories. And then my little lunch quesadilla was six points and 170 calories and then I added that piece of cheese which took me up so after lunch I had 14 points and 599.9 calories the Velveeta slice took me up to 15 points and 634.9 so after I counted that breadstick and the chicken for the calories you know the chicken was zero I'm not gonna count calories for the lettuce because it's hardly anything and the that salad was mostly lettuce so very just a couple cucumbers, a couple tomatoes, a couple onions on that. Oh, I got lemon slices for my dressing. They asked me if I wanted their vinaigrette or their house dressing, and I said, no, thank you. Bring me lemon slices, please. And they did. So I counted six points for that breadstick. It probably wasn't quite that much, but I just want, I'm on the safe side. So for dinner, I'm counting six points, 374.9 calories which takes me up to 21 points for the day. And, um, well, I have 1,009 point, 1,009 calories, point eight, um, 
totaled, but I forgot to add the um, apple that I had for a snack when I came home. So I no more points. I still have 21 points, but I have a few more calories than that. I'm still close to 1,000 cal calories in, in, in the deficit area for the day, meaning I burned off more than what I what I took in. But um, all you saw today was my breakfast because that's all I get recorded. But I felt pretty good that I actually went out for dinner and uh, didn't go off the rails. But I have to tell you, on the way home, I was thinking, my sister, my, my sister drove to the restaurant, and I'm thinking, uh, my car was parked at her place, and I'm thinking, on the way home, I could stop at Marco's and pick up a little small pizza, because that sounds really good to me. Or I could go to Mr. Freeze and get an ice cream cone because that sounds really good to me. So I have to tell you, I was at the intersection where I had to either go straight to come home or turn to go to the pizza place and the ice cream place. As I was approaching the intersection, I was talking to myself saying, go straight, go straight, go straight. And this little mind inside of me kept saying, turn and go get a pizza. And I'm and I'm I'm physically saying go straight, go straight, go straight. Well, I went straight, and I came home, and I had the apple instead. And I'm so glad I did because I would have been really upset tomorrow morning because tomorrow is my weigh-in day. So uh, I mean, and also for, for weigh-in day, I'm not expecting a loss tomorrow. Uh, my scale hasn't gone down any more than it did last week. I had a huge loss that last week. So um, we'll see what the scale says tomorrow. So, but I'll be happy if it stays the same. You know, I have done everything correctly this week. I haven't, um, I haven't done anything. I'm trying to think, well, Saturday I, I had that picnic, but you know, I didn't, I didn't go off the rails at the picnic other than that cheese, but, and that really, really wasn't going off the rails. But other than that, I've had a good week. So even if the scale goes it doesn't move, or if, even if it goes up a little bit, I know that I did what I needed to do this week. I had a good, good week on plan. So uh, I'll be, I'm, and I'm happy with that. I think that's an accomplishment. So um, I didn't get as much activity in this week because the weather was crappy. It was either really, really hot or really, really wet. <laughs> um, we had a series of storms that's supposed to storm tomorrow too. So. Uh, today I went and got that mammogram done and uh, the, my bone scan and uh, a blood test. And I get my test results online. I don't know if your um, healthcare network provides that, but as soon as a uh, test result is in, they notify me that there's a test result. So I can go look at it online. And I can tell you that I uh, my mammogram was normal. And uh, my, uh, they did say there were some dense fibers in there or something, but you know, it's fat <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I am going to the doctor tomorrow. We'll discuss the things, the results. But uh, my bone scan showed that I do not have osteoporosis. So that's good. It means I'm just short, <laughs> shorter than I thought I was. Um, so for those of you that are wondering, I'm five foot two and a half. And don't forget the half. I'm five foot two and a half. So, and uh, my blood test was good again. Tomorrow she's going to check my blood pressure cuff because I mentioned to her last week when I was there that uh, my home cuff uh, seems to register my blood pressure high. And I'm registering normal in her office. So she wants to check the cuff. She thinks that maybe it's not uh, the right size cuff for my arm. And so we'll see what... She said if, if the cuff is either too big or too small, it can register high. So it's probably one of those. Um, so that's tomorrow afternoon. I think I'm done. Oh, I got my little colonoscopy thing. So I'm not doing the colonoscopy. I'm doing the color, color guard. If, have any of you ever done that? So I just got that package today. I haven't opened it up yet. I suppose I had to read the directions for that you know, before I go to bed tonight, but anyway, uh, I'm healthy as a horse, a Clydesdale. <laughs> so anyhow, 
that's it for me. Uh, like I said, tomorrow's weigh-in day, so I will be back in the morning with my weigh-in update. But uh, 21 points more or less today. Uh, I didn't eat many of my weeklies at all this week. I don't remember now. I don't, I don't log my weeklies on my calendar here. So, um, I don't know. Anyhow, that's it for me. I'm tired. I got up, like I told you earlier, I got up at 6.30 this morning. I had intended to get up at 6. Um, 6.30 is an improvement, though. So I'll get to the 6 eventually. But And the only reason I want to get that early is because if I, if I start subbing, or when I start subbing, that's about the time I'll have to get up in order to be at the school in time. So it's just trying to get my body to adjust to a new schedule. That being said, it's uh, 9.37, and guess what? I'm going to bed, and I haven't gone to bed this early in a long time. But I'm planning on getting up early again in the morning. And so I will be back with my weigh-in update tomorrow. You guys have a great night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.